I am happy and I am very thankful and grateful for the government of India who thought very much about the people who are left in India because over 100 million people were imported from India to 147 countries. Very few would have received this safety and around the sacks large, one of the two were coming to receive it. After seeing that, ladies and gentlemen, he was a son of mine, but we lived like friends. He would correct me if I am doing anything wrong. He would tell me how to do things. He would come home and show me if I am planning to do Every time I come, I live away, and every time I come to Trinidad, I would come and look at him. The only time I couldn't find him is when I came down here in Bolivia. I understand he was in an area that I am afraid to go. <laughs> he was in a spotted area. So it wasn't easy to go anywhere. But I mean, even today, but I would like to tell the family and the entire family because he was the grandson of Ramda Sitaram. That was the correct name of Ramda who came from India. Mother was Ramda's daughter. Ramda's father was Suraj Tahatila. Did you spell it here? Suraj. But the correct spelling of the name was Suraj Tahatila. And he was from the the village of Hanlo in he was from the village of Hanlo in the nearest town is Shahabad and in Uttar Pradesh in India. However, Ramasat father had eight sons and two daughters. Daughters died in the early pandemic, which started in 1918 with Spanish flu. The, the, the daughter was Parade and Rabe. They didn't make it, but all the other boys were brought in to be jumping around the cocoa and it was like crazy. So the, the, the girls, the two girls, didn't make it. However, ladies and gentlemen, I would always remember my uncle Ramasat Siraj because of his humility and the way he carried on himself. I would like to thank the, all those who are here and I would also like to thank the, the pastor and the rest of the people who are conducting this service with the program that they Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
And there are three things that are positive from his legacy. In other words, number one, it is legacy, it is understanding and appreciation of a family. He was a family man. He was a family man. A wife, children, grandchildren. He understood the value of family. And I don't know if you ever mentioned the word divorce. And I don't think that's because himself and the has some, some struggles, some troubles, but he understood the value of family. And if you think nothing else from Randy's life, but his devotion and commitment to family, you do it very well. Randy also, as a legacy, would have given us the discipline of hard work. So you didn't have to give you money, you didn't give you land, you didn't give you a house, you didn't give you a car, and you didn't give you a, a, a trip to this world, and you couldn't give you all that. But you gave the discipline of hard work, when you understand eight hours work or eight hours pay. When you understand that when you come from what is called conventional work, you still go to that and you go to the plant here and there because after all you have to eat something. And so the discipline, the love for family, the discipline of hard work, and finally his faith in God. He understood the importance of faith in God. He always pray to Jesus. He didn't always know who Jesus was, but when he came to understand the love of God, he gave his life to God. And that brings me to the second point of my devotion this morning.
Indeed, God, he has touched humanity. And more important, in his heart, he believed that there is a God. We give you thanks and praise to the day of God for the space that he occupied here on earth. Not just on the cell in Kaparo, but wherever he, you permitted him to reach upon this earth, Lord, give you thanks and praise. For indeed, Father, you have been a good Lord on the end. Just by his age alone, his testimony that you have been good to him. And we give you that praise. That's why you want to go.